Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm coming at you with a quick interesting video. I want to talk about oil candles today. Now in the past I've made some oil candles that I used lamp oil with and today I want to show you how to make an oil candle where you can burn vegetable oil or you can also use other oils such as olive oil and you can also use lamp oil in these types of candles. So stay with me and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, the first thing that we're going to need for our oil candle today is a reservoir, something to hold the oil in. And in today's case, we're going to use a small bottle that I got from my daughter's bathroom. This was a fingernail polish bottle. So we're going to use that today. The next thing that you're going to need is some cotton yarn. You're not going to need the whole spool, obviously, but it needs to be 100% cotton yarn. And what we, what we need is we need a length of that yarn that is just slightly longer than the length of the bottle. So here's our bottle. So we want the yarn to be just a little bit longer than the bottle. So there's my little stick of yarn. I have a small pointer in case I need to point things out in the video. I have some scissors. And last but not least, I have a, about a one inch square piece of aluminum foil. So that's all I'm going to need. Okay, the first thing I need to do to start this process is I need to take this bottle and I need to go wash it out. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we are. We're back with our bottle. I've cleaned it out. Everything's good to go. Again, I want to specify that the length of the yarn is just slightly longer than the depth of the bottle. Okay? At this point, I'm going to go ahead and fill this bottle with fuel. And for the video today, we're going to be just using standard 100% vegetable oil. You can use corn oil. You can use olive oil. You can use lamp oil. All kinds of different oils. But again, we're going to use vegetable oil. Olive oil works real good too. Okay, let's go ahead and fill this bottle. Hopefully I don't spill oil everywhere. So I'm just slowly going to pour the oil down into the bottle. Just like that. And you don't want to go all the way up to the top of the bottle. You want to leave a small amount of space. So I usually go right up to about here and I stop at that at that level. That's plenty of oil. Alright, the next thing I need to do is I need to take this small piece of aluminum foil and I need to fold it in half lengthwise. Just like this nothing too crazy okay from here I'm gonna just set it kind of over the top and I'm gonna just kinda of measure and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut just a little bit off of each end nothing too crazy you can actually skip this step if you don't feel like cutting it but I'm cutting it because I want it to fit I want it to fold down and have the edges barely touch the shoulder of the bottle here so I'm cutting it down just a little bit Now, I'm going to take that little piece of aluminum foil and I'm going to puncture a very small hole in the end of the foil here. Very small. I just use the blade of my knife and I just put a small hole in it. This hole is the hole in which I'm going to push my wick through. So I'm just getting my aluminum foil and it's almost like threading a needle on a sewing machine. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to increase the size of this hole just a little bit with my pointer here so that it'll facilitate the ability for me to move and push this through. Once it peeks through, that's all we need. See? Just like that. From here we're going to lower this down into the oil 
and we're going to fold the aluminum foil around the bottle. This is going to form a lid, if you will. Okay, and we want to make sure everything's folded down nice and tight around the bottle. These two pieces of aluminum that I had from earlier, I don't need those. I'm just going to discard those. Now what I need to do is I need to check my, my candle and see if this wick is wet. And if it's not, I'm just going to turn it upside down for a second. And what I'm hoping will happen is I'm hoping that the oil will come into this wick and saturate this wick. Okay. So it just takes a minute. Be careful that your aluminum foil doesn't fall off if you push it upside down like this. But you can see that the wick is just starting to show signs of oil. So I'm just waiting and, and all I'm doing again is I'm making sure that the oil is coming into the wick. If your string is a little bit longer like I recommended Here's another trick. You can just kind of pull the wick up a little bit and you can see that it exposes the wet part of the wick. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the wick down just a little bit. Let's park that right there. Just like so. So the wick is very short. Don't need a big long wick. From here it's time to light the candle. Oops. When you first go to light them it takes a minute because you have to get everything warmed up. I'm going to kill these lights behind me. So that you can see this candle. And at this point I'm just going to let it burn a little bit. It's kind of warming up, things of that nature. One thing that I want to stress is that when you go to burn your candle, make sure that you do not use a thick layer of aluminum foil for your lid. If you do, like, I just folded this aluminum foil in half. If you were to fold it in three or four thicknesses, what's going to happen is this aluminum foil is going to heat up and it's going to create too much heat and it's going to have problems so don't do that I don't recommend that at all looks like we're about to go out so I'll show you a little trick to fix that okay I'm just grabbing the wick and I'm just pulling it up a little more now let's go ahead and light it again there it goes nice well lit little candle and these things will burn for quite a quite a while well everybody I want to say thank you for joining me today on making my vegetable oil candle out of a nail polish bottle I hope that you found some good useful information out of this video. Please feel free as always to like this video, share this video, thumbs up, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Now go out there and make yourself an oil candle. They're a lot of fun. Bye-bye. <laughs>